Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is here, the same thing as it's raised to power x times it's square equals to 48 from here. The next step. The same thing as 8 raised to the power x over 8 square is then 8, that's 64, then my equals to 48 on this side. The next step here, divide both sides by 64, that is, divide this side by 64, also divide this side by 64, which implies here, 64 cancelled each other. We have 8 raised to the power x left, which is equals to 48 over 64 and also here we can write this as 8 raised to the power x equals to 8 times 6 over 8 times 8 that is here 8 cancel each other and we have 8 raised to the power x equals to 6 over 8 left and next step here we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 6 over 8. The next day we apply the power of log theorem. When we have log m raised to the power p, this is the same thing as p log m. That is, here we have x log 8 equals to log 6 over 8. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here log 8 cancelled each other. And we have x left, which is equals to log 6 over 8 divided by log 8. The next step here, we apply the law of log here. When well, we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to log 6 minus log 8 over log 8. The next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 6 over log 8 minus log 8 over log 8. At this here, log 8 cancelled each other. We have one left, which implies this becomes x equals to log 6 over log 8 minus 1. Then, also here, you can write 6 as 2 times 3, which implies here we have x now equals to log 2 times 3 over log 8 minus 1. And here we apply the law of logarithm also when we have log a times b. This is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 2 plus log 3 over log 8. Then minus 1 here, that is, we separate this into two fractions, that is, we have x equals to log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8 minus 1. The next step, also, we can express it as 2 times 2 times 2 which is the same thing as 2 keep. 
that is here we have x equals to log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 3 over log 2 cube minus 1. Then here we apply the power of log 3 comes there. Then also here, and we have x equals to log 2 over 3 log. 2 then plus here we have log 3 over 3 log 2 then minus 1 which implies log 2 can see each other we have 1 over 3 left that is x equals to 1 over 3 and here we can write minus 1 first then plus also here we have 1 over 3 times log 3 over log 2 then from here, 1 over 3 minus 1 becomes minus 2 over 3, then plus 1 over 3 multiplied by, when we apply change of base here from log A over log B, which is same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have here becomes log 3 to base 2. And also, we can express this as x equals to 1 over 3 log 3 base 2 first, then minus 2 over 3. And here also we bring this together as one fraction, and we have x equals to SCM here that's 3. Then what we have here becomes log 3 base 2, then minus. To here, so here we have the value of x in this problem as log 3 base 2 minus 2 all over 3. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to log 3 base 2 minus 2 all over 3 then what we have becomes 8 raised to power log 3 base 2 minus 2 all over 3 then plus 2 here is it equals to 48 on this side that is we can bring this power together as one this is 2 over 1 and we have 8 raised to power SCM up here that's 3 then here we still have log 3 base 2 minus 2, then here we have plus 6 here now is equals to 48 on this side. Then here we have 6 minus 2, that's 4. We can see this is 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 is it equals to 48 on this side. Then here it can be written as 2 raised to the power 3 which is raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 is it equals to 48 on this side then here this power multiplies and 3 here comes each other we have 2 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 is it equals to 48 on this side then here we apply the law of indices. Now we have a raised to the power n plus n. This same thing as a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. That is here we have 2 raised to the power 4 times 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 48 on this side? And 2 raised to the power 4. 2 multiply say 4 times. That is 16. Then times. Yeah. This follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is the same thing as 3 is equals to 48 here. And 16 times 3 plus, of course, 48, which is equals to 48 on this side. Then we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that. 
x equals to log 3 base 2 minus 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.